what is pulsating in my entire being today is something that I've never heard of. I think it's unprecedented. I don't think it's ever happened where the whole world is at home. Only God can do that. The whole world is at home. It doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter what time zone you're in. It doesn't matter today whether you are a Muslim or Christian or Hindu, whether you are an atheist or a Buddhist or a Jain or a Rastaman. It doesn't matter at all. Today we are one. These times we are one. We are one and we must win also. We are one. Today we are simply human beings. We have to put aside these superficial differences. There is no time for that. We are one and we must act together and respect each other, to cooperate, to take on the same one thing that threatens us all. And I see that that is a great thing. It is a great moment for us. We must not fail. Fear is a very powerful agent, but he was not with us from the beginning. It is not fundamental or original to our nature to be afraid. Love is our nature, and peace and joy, and an appreciation of what is right and what is good. These are the qualities, the perfume of our true nature. I see that this time, challenging as it is, is also offering us a new path. Not a new path as in necessarily difficult and strenuous, but a path of grace, a path that only God could have opened for us. Why fear comes is because we have moved away from our central nature. We have been so much impregnated with the wrong kind of knowledge, very negative behaviour, mindsets, attitudes and so on. It is only in situations like this, where we are compelled to pay attention, that we stand a chance of really looking more deeply towards ourselves. Mostly, our attention in life is on the outward going momentum, going towards the sense objects, going towards things which are momentary in their nature, things to do with our egos and fear also, fear of being without, fear of being disrespected, fear of being abandoned, fear of being at the bottom end of society, fear of being attacked, fear of becoming sick, fear of dying, all these things have in some way been imbued inside our nature. Now I would say that it is a beautiful opportunity to begin to change or to wake up, to discover what is real about us, what is true and what is here. I have got great news to share with you, and that is that within you, in your pure nature, there is a place of real stillness and peace, a depth and a beauty that is far and beyond the world of the fearfulness and uh, insecurities and all the ailments that really trouble our species, human beings today. What I want to tell you today is that your true nature is not lost. It is not somewhere else in some divine vault away from you. It is right here in the very core of your heart. And God bless you that uh, this coronavirus will do its work, but come to an end. And we will continue to grow as human beings, and indeed, maybe even come to 
create a very wonderful world. Thank you. God bless you.